Hello, this is Jill Plagic. I'm with the Sonora Writers Group, and today my guest is Kristen Fulton. And Kristen has been writing since, oh gosh, since I was probably five years old. Oh my in goodness. Kindergarten <laughs> in first grade, I wrote a lot of little silly poems and things. Well, Kristen, today you are here to talk to us about your new novel that you've written, and I've been reading it. It is a good read. You know, I've always wanted to write The Next Gone with the Wind. Oh, you have? Yeah, you've come very close. Oh, very, gosh. very close. And that so, sounds great. I hope, it's, <laughs> I hope everybody thinks that about it. So you go ahead and, and tell us a little bit about the novel that you've written and where we can find it, because it's a great book. Why, thank you very much, Jill. You're um, my novel is Sisters of the Soul, and it is available locally at Mountain Bookshop and also down in Jamestown at Here's the Scoop. You can get it from me directly if you contact me, and you can also buy it on Amazon, and there's actually a hard copy that um, Ingram Spark is publishing. Oh, okay. Um, and let's see, I also have some children's books that I've written, The Haunting and Snake Food, and they've been available for a while, and one of my downfalls is marketing. <laughs> and so I'm really going to make an effort to do that, um, because I have a couple of other products that I want to come out to that are um, some children's books, mm -hmm. a play that I, I wrote, and another um, two children's books that I've written. And then I'm ready to start on my next project, which is a a murder mystery taking place in the gold rush. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So She's very talented. Oh, thank so, you. Do you have something you can read to just, oh, sure, whet our, our appetite here a little bit in this book? <clears throat> yes. And the title again? Mm -hmm. Sisters of the Soul. Um, this is the two women who had to leave Louisiana, and they're on the run. And this is a little bit into their journey, so here we go. In El Paso, we stopped at a bodega to buy groceries. We were stocking up before crossing the Rio Grande and entering rough territory where mountain ranges, deserts, and Indians made travel unpredictable. I bought 25 pounds of flour and 20 of cornmeal along with sacks of rice, beans, sugar, and oatmeal, a tin of baking powder, slabs of bacon and salt pork, a tub of butter, a dozen corn tortillas, and two dozen eggs. Sophie added a spool of thread, some darning wool, and a package of needles she found on the dry goods aisle. It's high time to mend our clothes. As Sophie and I secured the supplies in the carriage, a man on a brown and white pinto bearing outside saddlebags stopped next to us and dismounted. He looked at us with frank curiosity, pausing to eye our purchases piled up on the clapboard sidewalk. Looks like you're stocking up. You got a long way to go, he asked. We got a fair distance ahead of us, I said. He looked at me more closely. Well, I'll be. I thought you was a boy. I'm dressed for the trail, sir. Now, if you don't mind, we've got to pack up our gear. I turned my back to let him know the conversation was over. He moved away slowly, stopping to lean against the wall of the store where he watched us finish stowing our purchases in the carriage. I sensed his eyes fixed like a leech on our buggy as we left town, heading west toward the river. I hope we don't run into him again, I said. He gives me the chills. He sure was kind of nosy, said Sophie. We drove through town and found the river crossing just as the grocer had directed us. A train of wagons and their herd of cattle were crossing the river and keeping two large ferry rafts busy. We'll get this crew across by late afternoon, and if it ain't too late, we'll take you and your rig over then, shouted one of the bargemen. We tethered the horses in a nearby meadow, shaded by a few stunted scrub oaks. Sophie started a small campfire banked in an old fire ring left by other travelers. I cracked four eggs into the skillet and fried them with a pinch of salt and some pepper. I gave Sophie her share and put the rest on my plate. We had barely started eating 
when the man who'd watched us with such intense interest rode up on his horse. He dismounted and doffed his hat. Good afternoon, ladies. Same to you, I set my plate down. How can we help you? I saw you a while ago, didn't I, at the little Mexican store? Well, that's where we got these eggs, I said. If I knew company was coming, I'd have cooked a couple extra. Thanks, but I already ate. I take it that you ladies are waiting to cross the river. We are. Well, I'm crossing over myself after I tie up some business matters in town. What is your business, I asked. I'm a bounty hunter. He leered at me in the disgusting smell of rot brought on by chewing tobacco wafted across the space between us. My name's Phineas Snipe. Howdy do. He paused, waiting for us to volunteer our names. But I just stared at him with a blank face. He broke the uncomfortable pause. There's been a rash of slave escapes in Louisiana, Texas. I'm down here to catch anyone who might have thought to take the low road. He leafed through some of the papers he pulled from his saddlebag. I find it helpful to look over the wanted posters. It keeps my memory fresh for recognizing a face when I see it. He held one out to us. Have you seen any of these men in your travels? Under the pictures of three black men were the words, escaped slaves, considered armed and dangerous, notify local lawmen immediately upon detection. There's bounty on these boys, dead or alive, said the man. What a pity for them. And what's your interest in our business, Mr. Snipe? My voice had a sharp edge, and Sophie's good eye shot me a warning. Okay. Is that oh, wow, enough? that's good. <laughs> yes, that's, that's a good, good, good taste of it. Okay, great. Excellent. Thanks. So again, let's just recap by telling everyone the title of your beautiful book and where they can find it. Okay. Um, it's available, Sisters of the Soul is available on Amazon. And the author is? The author is Kristen Fulton, that's me. <laughs> and it's available on Amazon and it's also available locally at Columbia, no, uh, it's not available locally at Columbia at uh, Mountain Bookshop. In and, Sonora. And in Jamestown. And then in Jamestown. And Jamestown that here's the scoop. Great. All right. Thank you very much and happy reading. Thanks.